Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Jericho, why are you wearing a hood? Because it's 35 degrees outside and this isn't right. So a few things I want to discuss here on my damn Monday. One of them. <laughs> all right, last night we all know was the president's State of the Union address. I didn't watch the whole thing. I didn't have time. I got a birthday party to get ready for. My daughter saved her money from her birthday and bought a tetherball pole. So every day when she gets home after school, she wants to play tetherball. That's what we do. It's her new obsession. But I'll give you some of the highlights. So number one, right off, and literally right off the bat, as soon as Trump stepped to the mic, I guess it's tradition that he hands the vice president and the speaker of the house who are sitting behind him, he hands them a copy of the speech that he's about to get into. So he hands Mike Pence the, the copy and then he turns and hands a copy to Pelosi and she did a good job last night, I will give her this, she did a great job of hiding her fucking veiny demon bat wings last night, I didn't even see them, I didn't even see the little humps right here, nothing. Good job, Nancy. But that's where it stops. So he hands her a copy of the speech, and he turns he turns back around to get to the podium, and you see her take the speech and stick her hand out for him to shake it. Now, <laughs> there's camera angles from uh, where she's sitting from behind her and from in front of her. So you can see both angles when she tries to shake his hand and when she gets the speech. Now, it's harder to see from the view from looking at them, but there's a view from behind them where you can see that he's he is turned. Now, I don't know if he snubbed her on purpose. Like I said, he was turning. It is possible that he didn't see her sticking her hand out, but it's also possible that he did snub her because Bitch, you're trying to ruin my job. You're trying to get me fired on some bullshit. So I can see where he's like, nah, fuck you. But also, um, Pence didn't reach out to shake his hand either. So maybe he wasn't expecting that. Because he just handed Pence the speech and then turned to Nancy. So maybe he wasn't expecting a handshake from her. Now, I'm, not, I'm not no blind trumper to stick up for no matter. No, he didn't do that. He would never do that. Yeah, he would. And if he did, so what? Like I just said, you're trying to get this man fired and ruin his legacy, and he's supposed to shake your hand? If I was in his position, I wouldn't shake her hand either. Not only are you trying to ruin my life, but you have claws, and you could hurt me. No. So, and then she got mad. You see her like, oh, okay, okay. So then through his speech, she's not even paying attention. She's looking at the speech that he gave her, which is dumb. If you just sit there and listen, you're going to hear everything that you're looking at right now. But she's just looking at the speech, trying not to pay attention, acting like, oh, this is such a pain in the ass. This is such a waste of time. Now you know how we feel, dummy, with this bullshit impeachment. It's so dumb. It's a waste of time. And we're all rolling our eyes, waiting for it to be over. Now, I've always found it funny how whatever president is in there, his side, you know, when he says something and goes for his applause break, they all cheer, and then the other side of the room is quiet. You can hear a rat piss on cotton. I always thought that was funny. But what I also find weird is all of these Republicans standing up and cheering, chanting four more years, four more years. Where is that support and energy every other day because I don't hear those people standing up defending Trump being pro-Trump being pro-America I don't hear that shit now there are some that are public with it a handful but where's that support at other times where's that positive outcry at other times just wondering but they scan the crowd and you see the Democrats like this all mad and there was a group of them, including Pelosi's gross ass. They're all wearing white. <laughs> Doesn't wearing white imply purity in some way? 
coming from the most impure beings on earth. You had Sheila Jackson Lee sitting there with her extremely, highly stupid ass. She's the same one that told us an AR-15 bullet, or the gun weighs like 20 pounds and it's so heavy. This isn't a, a browning 50 cal woman. It's an AR-15. You can pick it up with two fingers, idiot. But you see them panning the crowd and they're all, <sighs> and there was one where uh, Kamala, the Ugandan nightmare, which feels good because I haven't said her name since she dropped out. But she's sitting there all mad like, <sighs> That could have been me in 2020. <laughs> you idiot. But basically, in a nutshell, here's the State of the Union. We're doing great, they're mad, and they don't give a shit about you. The end. Now, something else. You guys thought, because we haven't heard about California in a while, they were done being stupid? No. Now, the exalted ruler of California, Gavin bang your wife Newsom now he wants to suspend physical education for kids in 5th, 7th and ninth grade. Why? Why would you want to suspend PE, also known as physical education? Well, it's obvious people he has to suspend it because of bullying of the bullying of non-binary kids and kids with disorders, kids or special needs. What? So you're telling me these kids are being teased to a level that the California governor has to get involved. Now if it's to a point where kids are making fun of children with disabilities, with special needs that bad, how about this? How about you do some community outreach and get in touch with these parents of these little monsters who are making fun of disabled kids? Now, they're probably bullshitting because who does that? Now, I'm aware kids can be absolute bastards. They can be cruel and mean and horrible. But I went to school with some disabled children, with children who had some very bad issues. And no one, I mean no one, ever made fun of those kids. Not, I mean, not that I saw. Maybe it happened. Maybe there were some strange looks because kids don't understand that. But those kids, I never saw anybody make fun of those kids. And I knew them. It's not like I just saw them. I knew them. Josh, Rebecca, Sean, those are three of the ones that stand out. For the most part, kids were kind to them and have certainly never got to the point where government officials had to intervene. And non-binary kids? What the fuck does that mean? How many non-binary kids are there in California? 15? So they're saying it's there's body shaming and bullying because this particular set of requirements also requires them to have a BMI, a body mass index. And they say it leads to bullying. This is another way for them to get involved and take power away from parents. If it's that bad, you need to have some parent-teacher conferences and get this shit taken care of. And if these kids can't handle it and not be nice, they need to go. We don't need the governor to get involved and mess with P.E. Because of body shaming. And who's... What are you talking about? Everybody gets body shamed, everybody gets bullied, and everybody does some bullying. That's what they don't talk about. All these kids are not just victims. I've been bullied, I've done some bullying. It goes both ways. That's how society is, that's how humans are. If you find something that's different or that's weaker than you, chances are at some point you're gonna fuck with it. This is absolutely ridiculous. Body shaming and bullying, so you're gonna suspend PE? Children need physical activity. They need to run around, they need to run and jump, they need to learn how to work with a team. 
They need to be active. Kids aren't as active as they used to be. I remember seeing this meme and it's a bunch of bikes, like four or five bikes all together in a group on somebody's lawn. And it was saying, that's how you knew where kids were. It wasn't about Facebook and Instagram and all that shit. Kids were out and about. Kids would ride their bikes and scrape their knees and get dirty. I remember my mom when we'd come out from playing, we couldn't even come in the house. We had to get undressed in the laundry room. I remember sticking my hand in my pocket one time. I must have been seven or eight. I was taking off my clothes in the laundry room. I reached in my pocket and it was full of dirt and rocks and I didn't even remember putting dirt and rocks in my pocket. Why would I do that? But we played so much rolling around the dirt and all that shit. Who knows what you find? I lost one of my rain boots in some mud one time. That's what kids need to do. They have enough time to be staring at a fucking screen when they get older. Physical education is part of their education. Body shaming and bullying. We all deal with body shaming and bullying. Who's 100% proud of their body at, in, in those grades? Fifth, seventh, and ninth grade. There's always going to be something. There's always going to be teasing and, and what they call bullying. You can't legislate that shit away. Now, if it needs some curtailing, as they say, get in touch with the parents. That's who's responsible, not you. And my last point or topic, your girl. Not only is she Time Magazine's person of the year, I'm talking about Greta Deep de Boop de Fergin Bugin. That's right, guys. You thought the accolades and awards were finished? You thought Time Magazine's person of the year was the pinnacle? Nope. Now she's been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. What? Oh, man, get out of here. I don't even know what the requirements are for that, if there are any. Obviously, maybe there's not. Because she's a 17-year-old kid, what has she done to deserve <coughs> a Nobel Peace Prize? Now, of course, she was nominated by a couple of Swedish uh, politicians that are from their, their version of our idiots we have here. So, of course. But they're saying how, oh, she's brought so much attention to climate change and blah, blah, blah. This little girl is going to be, and you know she's going to win. Because there's enough morons to give it to her. Just like there were enough morons to give it to Obama. The fuck did he do? You can get a Nobel Peace Prize while simultaneously bombing a country? I didn't know that. I thought the peace part meant something. And when I was a kid, I remember uh, the Nobel Peace Prize. What's that about? And this is back when you had to go to this building called a library and you had to look in a book for information. So... I remember looking up and I thought it was weird that a man who, whose name is on a prize for peace built his name and fortune off of war and destruction. Now I know eventually he gave all his money away and was like, oh shit, I didn't mean to be, you know, I didn't mean to be involved in things like that. But bottom line is what gave you a, a fortune to bequeath in the first place was built on violence and destruction. But anyway... Greta Gupta Fergin Bugen Gergen Fergin <laughs> is nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Man, this shit is disgusting. Now, 10 years from now, when she's 27, or say 10 to 12 years, she'll be 27 to 29 years old, and we all haven't died and boiled in the ocean, what is she going to say then? Is she going to give it back? Or is she just going to tweet out, my bad. I mean, what what are all these fools going to do? Because 10 to 12 years is not that long. It's not going to take, it's going to be like that 10 years from now. And when we're not all dead, what are they going to say then? Just like when the uh, year 2000 was coming. And all these people, you know, the, the buying up all the bottled waters and the doomsday preppers and the bags of beans and toilet paper and all that shit. Well, here we sit 20 years later and nothing's changed. So if I'm still doing this 
10 to 12 years from now, you better believe we're going to do a follow-up on this bullshit that the world was going to end because of climate change, which we have no effect on in any way, shape, or form. What? We are nothing to this earth. We are nothing. But we're going to destroy it in 10 years. All right. You guys tune back in in 10 years. We'll see what the fuck has happened. Probably the same thing that is between their ears. Nothing. Now, people, I'm about to hop in this damn rat race. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. Don't forget to also get your Jericho Green notification tone. Link in the description box, fanatictones.com. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.